When we're young, we believe education ends following high school and college, but that isn't really the case. Now, every day we can learn something new as we get older, and here with more insight on Ollie, Osher Lifelong Learning Institute at the University of Illinois is Catherine Williams, director, and Frank Chadwick, longtime Ollie member, instructor, and study group facilitator. Glad to have you both here with us. Catherine, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about what Ollie is. Ollie is a lifelong learning program designed for people for, uh, 50 years of age and older. And we offer high quality academic courses so that uh, people can continue to learn uh, as they get older. But we also offer uh, study groups so that people uh, like Frank and others can talk about things of interest to them as well as learning just in a classroom. And we have other things as well such as interest groups. And it's a place for people 50 years and older to get together and learn and continue to learn. Uh, throughout their lives. What are some of the topics or um, lessons that we're learning? Well, if it in courses, and we do have courses that are starting um, up in January the 30th, some of our courses have to do with history. We, a number of our members are interested in history, uh, but we also have courses in sciences, um, and we have courses on film. We have an, a number of film courses. Our, our members tend to like film. We will watch the movie or the film together, and then they'll discuss the importance of it, how it's made, all sorts of things along those lines, and literature courses as well. Very cool. Frank, you're an instructor, right? I am, yeah. Tell us a little bit about what you teach and your experience with Ollie. Uh, mostly I teach history, uh, uh, history courses, and I've taught them on um, World War II, on the, the uh, Greek-Persian Wars, um, the, uh, uh, the, the 73 Arab-Israeli War, a bunch of different courses like that. I also did a, some study groups on um, the film, pres the, the, the Hollywood's presentation of World War II films during World War II, the, kind of the propaganda films, and uh, a whole bunch of, uh, a course on the, all the um, films that were done both overseas and the United States on the anti-Nazi resistance to the Germans during World War II, the French underground, that sort of thing. Now, when I think about learning and school, I always disliked the tests yeah. and the pop Same. quizzes. <laughs> Are there those type of things in no these classes? No problem. Like, oh. <laughs> Good. Yes. No. There are no tests. There are no papers. It's just learning and learning uh, for the fun of it. Learning just to to keep an active mind. But you, no one has to um, to write a paper. No one takes the test anymore. Unless maybe they choose to write a paper or <laughs> Their something. Their own yes. way of yeah. uh -huh. They're welcome to do so, but uh, they won't be graded on it. Okay, that's good to know. What's the difference between like a study group and then a class that's taught? Well, do you want to take sure. Uh, the, this, the study groups are uh, all moderated by Ollie members who are interested in the subject, but that's maybe not their main professional uh, background. Uh, so it's kind of a joint contribution by the facilitator and the students. Uh, the courses are taught by content experts. Um, so uh, when I teach a course, it's in history or it's in writing, because I'm also a writer. I've taught a number of courses in writing. Um, when I do study groups, it's not stuff that I, it's my career. So I've done music study groups on the music of different artists and things like that, and film study groups that are just films I'm interested in. But I'm not a film scholar by any means. So where do these classes take place? Where are we going? Well, we have, we have a, a wonderful facilities in the M2 building just right up the street on Neo, 301 North Neo. Many of our courses, people can come in in-person classes, but we also have online classes and we have hybrids. So some people who like to uh, stay home or be someplace else if they're traveling, for example, and are, are out, of, out of town, they can still participate in the class but online, so we there are lots of different options for them. Yeah. So if someone signs up for a class, is it several times that they meet and it's the same time and same day, or how does that work? Oh, it's uh, the, the class will have a time it meets on a particular day of the week, and in, in that eight weeks in a row it meets. Oh, nice. So it's eight weeks. Uh, each class and each study group are eight week sessions. Um, so, and there's no midterm or final at the end. No. That's the best part. No. So how do you become a member? Because then if you're a member, do you get to take whatever classes you want or do you sign up for the course you want? Well, first you do become a member and we have, uh, right now we have half-year memberships 
and once you are a member, you you may sign up for individual courses, and uh, there and then you can also uh, you can sign up for the eight week course or the four week course, and you can sign up for as many courses as you can fit into your schedule. There you go. Yes. Okay, Very exciting. Always good stuff. Always important to learn something new. Keep that brain active in your golden years. We appreciate you all being here. Yes. Very cool. Thank concept. you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. We all right. It. Well, absolutely. There's a look at their Facebook page, which you can like to learn a little bit more, and we'll have all those links as well as their as to their website over at our website, sailiving.tv.